or a day on the weekly what is it? We take a look at this pipe horn. It's a pipe and cable locator. Has a transmitter and receiver. It's not as old as it looks. Just a well-made device. It comes in a real heavy wooden box. This is something a few years ago my, my dad found for sale and thought I'd be interested in it. And it is a real interesting tool. It is the Model 100 pipe horn. And it uses high frequency uh, by antenna. Or you can use the actual binding post to hook up cables. I just thought we'd take a look at this locator today. See the actual antenna windings around the actual inner case. Actually around. See the contact points there. Where it goes through for the windings. Though an older look in the design, I believe this, this model was still made into the 90s, the Model 100. I know they do have a little bit newer model out. If I cut the switch on, and I'm just going to pull the trigger on the actual receiver with the uh, gain turned all the way counterclockwise, all the way down. Picks it up. I know the transmitter and receiver still work. So we can use this with a binding post and hooking the ground and a certain pipe. Or we can even use it by just putting it in parallel with the longest run of the pipe above ground. And it should transmit the signal onto that pipe. And we should be able to find it with the receiver. It shows us how I want the T turn across of the long way of the pipe. So we have to play with this a little. Let's see uh, if we can see what frequency it's running at.
right at 480 kilohertz. So now that we know what frequency is, is working at, let's see what this adjustment does. The adjustment we wouldn't touch without a scope hooked up to it. Boy, well, change is easy. Really just has a sweet spot. Well, that's an easy enough adjustment. Right in that area there, then it decreases on amplitude again. So, right where it was at was definitely the sweet spot. Good to know if you ever got to adjust one. I'm gonna make sure since I adjusted it, it still picks up good. Now just for fun, I had to get my function generator out, set the function gen for around 480 kilohertz out. So I got a signal real similar to what we saw on the transmitter. I don't have a newer signal gen, so you can't see the actual true output, so I just hooked it to the scope just so we could see that and clarify it. Now I'm going to take this and make a loop. Just curious, curious if this loop transmit will actually uh, be able to pick up with the receiver. That's all the way down counterclockwise all the way you can see the whole I'm gonna cut the switch off and make sure it's coming from that there we go got to wonder what do they do with a sweep We see that it's sweeping. I'm gonna slow it down. There we go. That's just, just playing around with some sweeping. Sweeps in and out. Speed it up a little. Playing with the sweep. What about the uh, symmetry? Yeah. 
it, it likes it to be a very good sine wave. Offset, which I didn't figure it would matter, it's still the same signal. Just thought we'd have a little bit of fun with the function generator. I didn't know for sure it would work like that, but I was hoping it would. I got it here real similar to how they mentioned in the manual. I got it turned on. I know you want to see if it works, right? So I'm just adjusting the gain down and until it goes away. So I know I'm still on the trail. I'll actually go in and see if it picks up my actual gas line inside. So I really had no trouble outside finding the, uh, the incoming gas line. I also thought I would show inside. This is the furthest point that I know where it comes to my water heater. So I just thought I'd see the outlet, the actual gas line coming. I know it comes overhead in the attic. So I just thought I'd actually test it here and see if I could pick it up. So today we took a look at the pipe horn, the transmitter receiver. We looked at the operation just a little. We actually hooked it up to the scope, lifted the output of the transmitter, adjusted it a little bit. We, uh, we simulated the signal with a function gen and got to play with it on sweep a little bit. Had some kind of unusual sounds coming from the receiver. Had a little fun with it. This will, however, be my last weekly what is it for a while. This will be the tenth one. Just not quite as popular with the subscribers as uh, electronics repairs and maybe the tutorials I'm starting. So I just uh, I may come back to this at a later time. Just going to take a break from it. Focus on the tutorials at this point and some electronics repairs and try to get the uh, subscriber base up. Try to get the uh, channel head in the direction it needs to go. Just looking at YouTube analytics. Just seeing a few things need to change there. So hopefully you enjoyed the look at this pipe horn today. Um, Show a little bit of it in operation. The actual video of me walking around and looking at the grass probably wasn't the best video. I'll probably edit a lot of that out. But I did I did decide to come inside and uh and show the furthest point that I have to the gas line. Figure it might be better video and uh just show it finding that furthest point. I actually didn't have to have the sensitivity up very high either. But of course it wasn't no ground under just the wall, but but still, that was a good bit of distance. It's across the whole house. The whole house and the whole garage length. Um, so the furthest point I could have got, like I say, from that gas valve, where I had the transmitter actually stationed out there. So just a good test for it, and good, hopefully it showed up on the video. If you like this video today, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching. This is a prime example of a, a device that you need to take the batteries out of before you store it. This will be one corrosion would definitely get staying in storage in a, for a while. Also a good example of one that does not make it the easiest in the world to get to the batteries. But we'll take them out, put it in storage.